so I lost like a lot of sleep over it. So basically what I got was this and what I made was that and uh, this was all painted. Digitally it's, it's incredible because these paintings used to be made on glass and if you have like everybody of us has these old Star Wars books and these were big, big paintings. Or also the paintings which were made for, for Dune. The Dune paintings, they were absolutely gigantic. Now we can do that all right into the machine. So this is, this is for example, that shot where the boa takes off from the airport. And what they gave me was this block model and they didn't have time to finish, <laughs> finish it. And then I painted the city on top, so model, and then in the movie you see the boa coming, rushing towards us, and then in compositing they do an incredible job, they animate all these fires and, and then they make it flicker and they do all that. This is the kind of map paintings we, we all did for a long time, so block model painting. It's quite rare that you would have a painting which comes from a direct line drawing by now. Almost everything which you see, which is far away, is painted. And so these are the clouds, and this is the foreground. And so because Tani made about 10 drawings of the Proto Phantom in the different stages, and then I got his drawing, and then I painted that. that whole thing, the whole enchilada here. So I show you, this is all painted and I kind of, for concept, and this was Tani's drawing. So this is the drawing he made, and then I started to just paint over it. And this has then become the basis for, you see, for the stuff, and here you see the explanations. Phantoms growing out, tumors, energy receptor, and that's the kind of stuff you do before lunch and then you have no more appetite. If you listen ABBA at the same time, it becomes funny again. An incredible compositor started to, to make something out of that. You see, this is the painting how the planet falls apart, all painted. There you go. And then, uh, and then they map these paintings on this, this 3D elements and then they have like stuff spilling out and sound and music and that creates afterwards uh, the complete illusion. conceptual art for which was done painted in the machine so I had three models of the phantoms just one two three the rest is painted that was after a sketch which Tony did by hand like you see that these beautiful rough 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 sketches So I took his and I painted like all the clouds. And this is really mostly hand painted, you know. So this is when you remember when the pots shoot up into the sky and they go. <laughs> This is, this is what is behind there. And because we didn't want it to be, use any photographs, what we did was we painted all these skies. So virtually every sky which you see behind in the dreams is painted, every single one. And that's one of the biggest, coolest things you can do.